This masculine did not answer the phone. And you truly want to know why. You truly want to know why. Because you're thinking to yourself, if nothing else, I thought we was friends. I don't know what happened. Again, we're just letting spirit lead us tonight. I don't know what happened. Okay. Mm. Okay. With that. Look, his car is just coming out. Woo. Okay. All right. I don't know what happened or what went down, but this man did not answer the phone. And you are in utter shock because you're like, okay, you know, maybe y'all have broken up a few times. I really don't know. Let's see what happened. We see there was some deception in place and it was faded. Okay. There was some deception in place. It was faded. Um, y'all had just recently rekindled. Y'all were making love again. Finally, it was going down. Everything was everything. This man seemed like he had his stuff together. Um, King of Pentacles energy. And then y'all hit a wall. Ten of Wands. Y'all hit a wall. Okay? Something went wrong. Something went wrong. That Ten of Wands came in. And suddenly, the relationship got very heavy. Somebody in the situation was wounded. Somebody got hurt. Nine of Wands energy. Somebody got wounded, y'all. Okay? Somebody got wounded. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands. Queen of Swords. It looked like something that you said. Queen of Swords. Something that you said. Something that you said was a, was a lot for this man. And um, it made him feel like he had to stand his ground. Okay? He had to stand his ground about making any future plans. So he retreated. And it hurt him to his core to retreat from you. This man was sick. Nine of Swords. He was sick. That he felt he had to retreat from you to save his pride is what I'm getting. Yeah, that's true. Y'all see that Ace of Swords came through there. That's the clarity. That's what's real. That man retreated because of, out of his pride. Right? There it is again. Six of Wands. His pride. His ego. So he retreated. He felt blocked. He didn't feel like he had any other moves to make. It was just like, if I'm going to be a man to her, I have to retreat. That's how he felt. Uh, he retreated in an effed up way too. He kind of snuck away from you. He just snuck off. He snuck away. And it was all about him keeping his pride. Ace of Wands. It was all about big dick energy. It really was. That's what it was about. Ace of Wands. He was very adamant in showing you like, I'm the man in this situation. And you will not do me any old kind of way. Um, you've tried to make offerings to him after that. Ace of Pentacles. You've tried to maybe send apologies. Um, trying to get things to shift. Trying to get a transition started. In y'all's relationship, he did not accept your apology. Four of Cups. He did not accept your apology. He didn't accept it. Three of Pentacles. Okay? He did not accept your apology. You've been hoping to talk to him. He hasn't talked to you. He's been talking in the community, telling friends, you know, what happened. Um, he's been very judgmental towards you. He's very upset. He's looked the situation over. And his heart is broken. And he's very upset with you. He's mad at you. This man is mad. You made him very mad. He's very mad. Knight of Swords. This man is infuriated, okay? He's very upset. He's highly upset. And it's becoming difficult for him to even think about, you know, why did I like her in the first place type of vibe? You know, he's really fighting with himself and his mind. Like, why did I even ever talk to her? He's just dead. Like, he's, he's broken. He's broken. Something you said really broke this man. And you're still sitting there carrying a torch for him, Queen of Pentacles. You still love him. You know, he still makes you happy. You miss laying up in front of the TV with him and stuff like that. But he feels like you stabbed him in the back. And he literally has just really just gone off into the distance. Like, you didn't see it going this way. Okay? Um, you didn't see it going this way. That's just on period. You didn't see it coming. Again, we see that Ten of Swords energy. This flattened this man. Whatever you said, sis, whatever you did, it really took him out um, as far as the connection and the emotion. It really took him out. He was set to make some kind of offering to you. He had something on his mind that you, you probably weren't aware of, I would imagine, because why would you say some, you know, something you shouldn't have said? Um, and now he's completely retreated from the idea of making that offer. Okay? Um... There is some level of indecision with him, though. He's still kind of like, mm, he's retreated. He's looking inside now. Hermit energy. He's looking inside. He's looking inside. He's trying to figure out 
He's just trying to figure out. He doesn't know what to do or how to feel. Again, his pride. So this is the best way he knows to keep his pride is to just kind of, he's, he's devastated and he was thinking about doing something special for you. He has just retreated at the moment. In fact, he may have even been sick for Swords Energy. Um, so he's very undecided about what to do. And he's just looking within and trying to hold on to his pride. That's what the delay is. That's why you have not heard anything from him. He is really in a, in a situation, in a position right now where his primary goal is just looking inside. Because again, he feels very betrayed. We pulled the Five of Swords twice and the Ten of Swords twice. You, whatever you said, it, it just killed this man. It just killed him. It just killed him. It really awakened something in him. But also, another thing, the situation itself, we're looking at the judgment card, the situation itself will reawaken. This man may be a moon in Cancer, or he may be a Cancer, King of Cups. He has a lot of water energy, Cancer energy, emotional energy, and his emotions will reawaken. His King of Cups energy will reawaken. Okay. His King of Cups energy re will reawaken um, at some point. And he will want to call a truce to a source energy. He will want to call a truce. Okay. We got these two cards just desperate to flip out. Um, he will want to cause a truce. Because what you said really shut him the hell up. Okay. It was something that was so domineering. And he felt like he was a lion. Like he's a beast. He's the man. How could you, how could you clamp at me like that? You made him feel like he was a house cat. He sees himself as a lion. You know what I mean? It's one of those types of things. Um, he is still very sexually attracted to you. That's a big part of what he would consider a problem with this heartbreak that you left him with. Is that he does still want you sexually. He wants you sexually very badly. Um, and this is a way that your energy kind of has some control over him. Okay, because he still wants that and he still wants to experience that in the earth realm. Okay, he still is like, I'm upset that I'm blocked, eight of eight of swords. Why I'm upset that I can't get none of the, none of that thing. Okay, he is missing it in a serious way. Um, but you blew his mind, sis. You blew his mind with what you had to say. And it just was something, whatever you said, it came from a place of, of real righteousness. It was so righteous. That it left him feeling like a student of yours. Hierophant energy. It was so righteous that it left him feeling like a student of yours. Okay? It was so high-minded. It may have even been about marriage and commitment. And it came from a very high spiritual place. And it slapped him. You see this tower energy. Your righteousness and your demand to be treated right. And your demand to be seen in, as a light being. You know, you're not finna hide me. This man may have been trying to hide you or, or other woman or he, he just wasn't willing to give you all that you were asking for. And you laid it to him. And the spiritual power behind the way that you laid into him. Look at this. I was trying to creep out at us. The high priestess. That high priestess energy. It blew him away. It, it was, it was, he was so convicted and hurt. My God, how could she go into hierophant energy on me? He's in that type. He's appalled is what it is. <laughs> He's appalled. He's appalled. He made you an offering. He did make you some kind of offering at the time that y'all were dealing with each other. But you felt like it was a demonic offering. You felt like the offering was flat out demonic. You know, here you are in your Hierophant High Priestess energy. Okay? And he's in Ace of Pentacles, the devil energy. You checked the hell out of him for this. You said, how dare you offer me that? You, he offered you bondage. He offered you sex. You know what he offered you? He offered you the opportunity to be tethered to the other woman in his life, to basically be his other wife. That's what he offered you. He's trying to almost mesh you with another woman. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to mess you with another woman, see, because one of you is very fiery and sassy and the other of you is, is a kind of like a Eve energy. It's like one of you is Eve and one of you is Lilith. Okay. And he was trying to, he wants the best of both worlds. He wants a spicy, sassy woman sometimes. And he really does deeply, deeply love you and want that. But it's like, he also wants this woman that is just a lamb and she just does what he says. So he attempted to make you an offer that would allow you to be in, in the other woman energy. 
and you blasted him. Okay? You told him who the hell you blasted him. You blasted him. You blasted him for bringing deception to your door. We keep seeing that moon energy. You blasted him for bringing deception to the door. And the deception was strictly based in his own male energy. So yeah, it was about him. It was his ego. It was sex. It was all about him. Okay? And y'all are in a situation now where there's a war. Let's pause for a moment. There's a war. Mm, look at that. Justice. There's a war of trying to get justice the, for the moon and the sun. Y'all are actually in a, in a spiritual gender war. You and this man. Y'all are in a spiritual gender war. Okay? And there needs to be some kind of justice because this man is devastated, but he wasn't acting right. All right, y'all. I lost y'all for the moment. The camera cut off, but we're going to go ahead and jump back into it. So this man, yes, he was not acting right. And what we saw here next is the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all's ancestors have a weight in this, in the way it goes. And there's some ancestors on both of y'all's bloodline that want y'all to be together. This spiritual gender war that y'all are having, where y'all are fighting, you're fighting for your honor as a woman, he's fighting for his honor as a man, etc., etc. This is what y'all have going on between y'all. Okay? Y'all also have y'all ancestors, Ten of Pentacles, that are invested in this. And these ancestors are trying to push y'all together, okay? So we had the serpent energy, okay, that shows this man was sitting in the background. And he was being very subtle and, and bogus about how he was coming into the situation. He really was. He was trying to cause confusion. We see the dagger, okay, because he feels he was stabbed in the back. You feel like you were stabbed in the back. So there's some serious issues between y'all. That's why we saw that sun and that moon dancing together. The feminine and, and masculine in this both feel wounded, deeply wounded and betrayed by the other. And that's that's really unfortunate, okay? We see the, cat the catasis. There is some news coming, okay? There's some news coming. Her Hermes energy. Hermes is bringing some messages to y'all. Unicorn, okay? Good fortune, friendship, okay? So there are some positive vibes still left in this. This man is not being accountable for the part he plays in all of this. The dragon, strength and wisdom. Both of you all, the masculine and the feminine in this, y'all have some great energy to give to each other, but he's not being responsible for the part he plays in all of this. Okay? He really is not. Okay? A close friend acts on your behalf. We see here at the bottom. Black cat. We see Bastet energy. The hurt. The home. Your luck will change soon. But even more than that, the hearth and the home is what comes along with Bastet energy. And I'm going to mirror image this. So should I show it to y'all this way? <laughs> I'm never sure. Anyway, uh, Bastet energy, right? Bastet energy. So there's going to be some warmth and some blessing brought to y'all in terms of the creation of a household. Um, but it's going to come from your ancestors. See, this is one thing about uh, relationships. Once our ancestors and our guides and things step in, you no longer really have anything to say about how this goes. Um, the circumstances are not in the earth realm. They're in the above. And it'll be, it'll be y'all's ancestors that really decide how this thing pans out. Um, it will be the spirit guides that decide how it pans out. Um, this man has to lose. He has to lose a lot while you stand strong. That's one of the first things that has to happen. Basically, he has to be humbled. He has to be humbled. His knowledge base and everything he thought he knew in terms of you has really been punctured. It's been totally punctured. Everything he thought of you was shattered when you said what you said. Everything he thought of you. And he's been weeping. This man has actually cried about this. Something you wouldn't believe because we pull up this dragon energy. So this is a really, this is a tough guy. This is a tough guy. Usually. He's a very tough guy. He cried about that. You, you hurt him to his soul with what you said. You made him feel like he was nothing because what he was doing was demonic. It was disgusting, okay? And you made him feel it. You made him feel it. And, and to him, you've always been very beautiful. Okay, very beautiful. And he really thought he could pull this off. He thought, he thought, he thought anything was possible. Look, he thought he was the king. He thought you'd do anything for him. We see this crown. 
but you want to be treated as his queen. And you was not about to accept that dirty agreement that he was trying to pass across the table at you. You felt like that agreement was filthy. Filthy. You felt like it was like fungus. Like you're trying to spiritually pollute me. How dare you? You practically cursed this man to hell, Divine. Look at this. Look at this bird hollering. You went in. You went in. You went in. You know what happened? This man ended up feeling like his mother went off on him. You know how mothers have that way? You should be ashamed of yourself, Tommy. You should be ashamed. That type of energy. And it broke him. It broke his heart because it was a correction to his manhood. That you are out of line the way you're out here. And it, it, it just, it killed him. It killed him. Look at him. We, we pull another knife. It was like a knife in his soul. Because it came from you. And you must hold a lot of power with this man. For him to feel what you said in a hierophant position. You hit him in his soul with what you said. Okay. He didn't think anything was wrong with what he was doing. He's been living a, a, a little, little sneaky type lifestyle. And you was like, well, you can't live it over here. Okay. You can't do it over here. And this left him feeling, he feels like he lost his abundance when you said that. He feels like he was beheaded, okay? He feels like you beheaded him. He lost you, and it just cut him to his core. You hurt the seed of who he is. The very seed of his pride was just, was just annihilated, okay? So, what actually happens next between y'all? This man is grieving. He's hurting really bad. Nine of swords. He's sick. But we see that two of cups energy. Like y'all get, get back together and there is some fulfillment when, when y'all are ready. A year from now. He has to gain some wisdom. Okay. He has to gain some wisdom. And we see spiritually here, you're very much an otherworldly person. So there are going to be some things and messages and signals you're going to receive from spirit. that are going to let you know whether or not you should ever answer the phone for this sucker again. Okay, we see the six of pentacles coming into the room. You know, there's going to be a time coming through where he makes an additional offering to you. He makes an additional offering to you because you are his true love. He needs time to take care of himself. This took a lot out of this man. You'd be shocked. This, this hurt this man. This man was in tears. This is a big, strong, rough man. He was in tears. That dragon energy. This is a, this man is like a, he ain't nothing to play with. And you... You know what I'm, I'm getting? You know that vibe? Remember when Dorothy uh, slapped the cowardly lion's hand and, and he started crying in the Wizard of Oz? It's that type of energy. And you would never know, but this man was, was so hurt. He just, he, he cried. My words and actions are beauty, compassion, and love. Moving forward, um, do not speak to that man like that again. Don't speak to that man like that again. You almost killed that man, the tower. You almost killed that man. Okay, that imprisoned that man's soul the way you spoke to him. Mary Magdalene energy. You're you be in mother energy with him, but try to avoid being a mother that disciplines the shit out of him because that's what you gave this last time, and he deserved it. <laughs> he had that coming, but you know it looks like he plans to make some changes. And what happens to this other relationship that he's in? That's my question, Spirit. What happens to? Whoever this is, he called himself trying to tether you to, trying to be selfish, not willing to do the right thing. Okay? He wasn't willing to do the right thing. Eight of Wands. Whatever happens, it happens fast. Okay? Something happens with the Eight of Wands. It happens very swiftly. Okay? Eight of Wands. Quickly. He is juggling. He is juggling his obsession with the two of y'all. We see that devil card again. So he's, he's confused. He's going to have to make a decision. We see him juggling. What do I do? What do I do? He's going to have to make a decision and make it fast. He's going to have to make a decision and make it fast. Okay. And we see him looking over everything. Seven of Pentacles. He's looking over the harvest, looking over the seeds he's planted, looking over the way everything has gone, turned out, etc. You cussed him out. And his death is going to come to one of these things. He's decided that something has to die. And what does he decide to do or to kill before he comes running back over to you with this offering? Okay. King of Swords energy. Yes, he makes a decision to detach. He makes a decision to make a cold, calculated decision about this. He's not going to use his emotions. He's just going to do what he feels is right. Okay. We see him going from the King of Swords. Then we see the Knight of Swords is the moment where he just is like announcing, hey, y'all, this is what it's going to be. 
This is the decision that I have made. This is the decision that I have made. He's holding on to one person, four of pentacles. He's holding on to someone. Okay? He's made that decision to hold on. To do what is just and what is right. Well, at least we know you got through to him on that. He ain't out here being a, a slimy bastard and then acting like the victim no more. Okay? He does choose one of these women. Queen of Wands. Who is that? Okay? He does choose one of these women. One who is who has been charitable to him. Six of Pentacles energy is a is a is a um, big thing between y'all. The one that makes him feel like he's getting the attention. Y'all see that sun energy. Six of Cups. Long standing relationship. Okay, y'all go way back. That's you. So he does make that decision. We know when this read is started. The reason that you were so hurt that he stopped answering the phone is because y'all had so much history. Six of Cups, the sun. So he chooses you. He does it quickly. And he does it kind of in the fourth quarter. After he has grieved and cried. And oh my God, I can't believe she said that to me, bro. Oh my God. And he has to go through this whole morning of what happened and he's so hurt ten of swords energy five of swords I and mean, she betrayed me bro i never thought she was talking to me like that bro it hurt me so bad he had to do all of that he had to get there had to be some divine intervention to humble him and make him really think about what he had tried to do your words had to really sink in you having the courage of your convictions really had to sink in so Boom. Y'all caught that Divine Feminine Tarot Tea? Make sure to pass this along. If you know someone that you know is sitting back, she's hurting, she's waiting for um, a male counterpart to come back, and she's just like, I just don't understand what happened. I told him the right thing, but, you know, he's he's she's just bailed on me. Maybe this will give us some comfort in the, in the meantime while this wait happens, because there is a wait while he recovers. Okay, so... Um, I'll catch y'all in the next one.